Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Igor Shermit, and I will be talking about a paper called Stabilization of Airborne Videos Using Sensor Exterior Orientation with Analytical Homography Modeling. So first, let me talk about the motivation of this paper. Um, the use case that this paper talks about is wide area motion imagery on airborne platforms. So uh, as you can see in this picture I found on the web um, that describes it, there's a airborne platform like a drone uh, flying around an area and uh, constantly collecting video for that area. And uh, that makes it possible to monitor areas of interests. Uh, so this process is very difficult because uh, of the motion and jitter of the airborne platform. And uh, stabilization also known as registering is needed to improve the uh, detection. So this paper proposes a method to stabilize airborne video using GPS um, coordinates and IMU measurements along with a homography based cost function to optimize the 3D poses. So um, this paper sets up a model to um, deal with this issue. Uh, and this model is described in uh, figure 17.1. So in this model, uh, W represents a three-dimensional three uh, world coordinate system. And pi represents a plane that uh, spans the x and the y axis of W. Then uh, cameras C1, C2 through Cn are airborne cameras. Uh, so these can be individual cameras or just uh, different times of uh, a single camera. And then uh, point X1 in W is also on the plane pi. Um, so as you can see, there, there are different points that map to the image planes of each camera. And uh, together they form a feature track. Um, and that feature track has a centroid. So I'll, I'll talk about this more specifically in, uh, in the future. And then also uh, there's a point X2 that's also uh, a point in W, but it's not on the plane pi and it's uh, associated feature track is spread out from the centroid. Again, I will cover this more in the future slides. So uh, to generate these feature tracks, um, points of interest are extracted from uh, the sequence of images or also known as the video and uh, knowing the order uh, of the images in, in the image sequence. Uh, the paper doesn't talk about specifically how, but it, it says that it's possible to extract uh, these features and to group them together into feature tracks that potentially identify a unique 3D point in the scene. So uh, the overall process can be uh, considered as a homography transformation. Uh, so in the paper, equation 17.1 shows how a 3D point can be projected in, onto the camera plane. So this is that equation and um, big X is a 3D point in, in W. Uh, K is a matrix that contains camera intrinsics like focal length and principal point. Um, R is the rotation matrix for the camera orientation and T is the translation vector for uh, the camera location. And then the small x tilde is a, a point on the image plane. So this equation could be simplified by uh, looking at points that are on pi. In other words, the z value of big X in, um, in the W uh, set, which is the world coordinate system, 
can be set to zero. And uh, this can be re rewritten as a homography uh, transformation. And then uh, the inverse transformation can be used. Uh, that's these equations right here, which are expanded a bit more in detail. Uh, the inverse transform can be used to map uh, points on the image plane back to pi, which is the plane that spans the x and the y axis of the world coordinate system. So the paper then talks about a couple of issues that arise in this model. Uh, so first, uh, the, the paper proposes using GPS coordinates for, um, for determining the locations and the orientations of the cameras. However, uh, GPS and IMU, uh, so GPS stands for Global Positioning System and IMU stands for Inertial Measurement Unit. So that data is not exact and there are inaccuracies in GPS coordinates and IMU data. So the, uh, the example that it talks about is a four point on the plane pi. Uh, the feature track for that associated 3D point would not be centered on the point itself, but it would be spread out and uh, would not be exactly on that point. So another issue that arises is uh, 3D points that are far from the plane pi. Um, so if the point is far away from the plane, then its feature track will also be kind of spread out from the uh, actual 2D homogeneous point of that 3D coordinate. And uh, this effect is also known as uh, parallax. And the last uh, issue in this model that the paper talks about is inaccuracies due to false features. So uh, often uh, features that are extracted from images have kind of false features. Uh, for example, in this image, like this point right here is just a random point in the sky. So that would have a big effect on uh, the detection of feature tracks. And to minimize that effect, a uh, robust function is used to kind of minimize the effect of outlier, outliers. Uh, the paper talks about how it's important to select the right cost function because it will have a big, big effect on how the outliers are treated. And the paper uh, describes using a Cauchy cost function because it downweights residuals uh, more rigidly. So then the, the paper proposes um, an optimization method to kind of deal with the different problems that were discussed earlier. Um, so first uh, to determine or to estimate, estimate the actual location of a feature in a set of uh, feature points, uh, a feature track, all of the points in that feature track are uh, summed together and then divided by the total number of features in that feature track to um, determine the centroid of that feature track. And then the error in that feature track is determining by looking at the uh, distance of each point in that feature track from the centroid. And then um, to minimize that error, we, uh, we look at the error of all of the feature tracks and we try to minimize it by adjusting the rotation matrix, the tra translation vector, such that um, the camera poses are adjusted and uh, the distance of each of the points in the feature tract is closer to the centroid. And then also to minimize the effect of outliers, a robust function is used uh, for the residuals um, so that if, if there are any outliers that have large residual values, the effect of those uh, residuals are minimized. Uh, so this is the uh, Cauchy robust function that was mentioned earlier. So here's uh, a figure that describes the overall optimization 
process. Um, so here are the original uh, camera poses and the associated um, points on pi are, are far away from uh, the centroid and the error of each point is e, small e, j. And then uh, once the cost function is minimized, the effective result is the camera poses are moved such that the, uh, the points associated with, uh, with each of those camera views is closer to the centroid. So uh, the paper also shows three um, experiments that they did with different data sets from the DARPA video image retrieval and analysis data set and also from Transparent Sky data set. However, uh, in the interest of the time, I'll just cover one of the examples. So in this example, um, this is a uh, data set of a video of a plane flying over Berkeley. And as you can see, uh, this is two of the frames for them from that video uh, at, at the top. And as you can see, the perspective of the camera kind of uh, distorts the actual area that we want to uh, look at, the area of interest. So that's this. Uh, purple box and this green box. Then after the stabilization, the images are adjusted so that the um, areas of interest are oriented correctly. And, and then the bottom is just that area of interest zoomed in and uh, a feature point is compared between the two frames. And, and as you can see, it did a pretty good job, even though there's a, a tall building that did not have a big effect on how this Im image was stabilized. And these two feature points like uh, aligned pretty well. Uh, so that is it. And here's the citation for that paper. Thank you.